I'm, in my opinion, that's the only way I can move on with my life. But anyway, even in this space game, like, there's gotta be something. Anyway, this part's ultra creepy <laughs> for a second. <laughs> Yeah, don't worry. No fight's fine. Everybody just walked away and left me alone here. And I don't hear these these clompy steps. This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Your musics are colorless. I love the Rachni voice. It's really cool. Musics? <laughs> Your way of communicating is strange. Flat. It does not color the air. When we speak, one moves all. We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. Rachni. How are you speaking through her? Our kind sing through touchings of thought. We pluck the strings and the other understands. She is weak to urging. She's biotic. She has colors we have no names for. But she is ending. Her music is bittersweet. It is so this woman's dying. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. End their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as So they technically are. going down into the hot labs themselves, the other part of the hot labs, not this part, um, takes us to the place where we can purge the arachni. And so I, I, I must have done it. I, I feel like I've done it once where I've done it in the opposite order. I've purged the arachni, come in here, done this, and then tell her that I've already, that I've already killed them, I guess. I don't understand. Why are your children killing people? These needle men. They stole our eggs from us. They sought to turn our children into beasts of war. Claws with no songs of their own. Our elders are comfortable with silence. Children know only fear if no one sings to them. Fear has shattered their minds. It's really sad. I understand. A child left alone in a closet until she is 16 would not be seen. Yeah. If you're sure they can't be saved. It is lamentable, but necessary. Do what you must. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? Look, those tanks, acid. Strong enough to kill anything, no matter its biology. They wouldn't have installed that if they weren't afraid of the consequences of her getting loose. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to us. Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us. Or return our people to the silence I think, of memory. I think I have the two people who aren't necessarily like pro kill Ragnar. I'm not sure if Tally is or not, but usually your companions will say one one pro, one con, essentially, like or one for, one against. Um depending. I know Rex, I think, well, yeah, I think Rex is like big because, you know, he's Krogan, right? And they him and his people like went and they they're the ones that did kill the Ragnar, so he's like, don't let everything we did be for nothing, essentially, like my people did. Like, we killed them because they were a threat to the galaxy. But as far as we can tell, this creature is not, like, she's speaking to us, like, you know, she's, and she's a queen. Like, that was, they were saying before, I was reading some of the codex entries, they could never contact the Rachni queens. Plus, she was apparently born after all of that. 
or like she wasn't alive during the Rachni Wars themselves. Like she was an egg, you know. So. If I let you live, would you attack other races again? No, we. I do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. And the fact that it's like a whole species based off this idea of like almost like tele telepathic singing, like it's a very beautiful idea, right? Like what, what, a, what a unique species that communicates through, at least in their language, through what is essentially song, you know? Are you a survivor from the war, a clone? We do not know. We were only an egg, hearing mother cry in our dreams. A tone from space hushed one voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow. This is her mother's memories. Then we awoke in this place, the last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. So she's like, she's the last of her people. You know, she's the last queen. She's the last. And we couldn't save the Thorian, you know, as, which was like, as far as we know, the only one of its kind. Like, even way back when, when I was younger, more naive, potentially, I I saw, I saw, I mean, I, I could see why a knee-jerk reaction would be to kill the Rachni, because, like, we don't know. Like, there was such a terrible thing that happened, like, forever ago. But... That's it's a different time now, you know, and this is a di this, this Rachni, this individual Rachni is not is not a part of what happened before, you know, like I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose a new. We will achievement, I think. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. I've only killed her once and it was really brutal. But to have the blood of an entire species on your hand, you know, even if you're like, oh, you're just killing one, but she is like the progenitor of an entire species potentially. Also, girl power, go for it. Live your best life, queen. <laughs> oh, jeez. We gotta get out. Oh, oh, look at these. Oh, those are egg sacs. Oh, goodness. I don't know if there's actually a timer, but I'm pretty sure there's stuff we can loot in here. Maybe not? That door I just passed was locked. Back out this way? Well, this is definitely turned into two videos, so oh, no. Now I don't know what to do. Okay, so I had to walk away for a bit uh, to go to a bookstore, buy two new, two, well, they're used books, went to a local used bookstore because uh, my sister and her husband invited me and I couldn't resist, so, and I had store credits. Where are they? Um, so yeah, <laughs> I don't have any room in my car for more books, but alas, here we are. And I popped out. Okay, I popped out here. One, what is it? I'm gonna tell you guys up there. The house, I think, in the Cerulean Sea, which is a, I've been wanting for a while, and one called Citizen Scientist. Uh, that looks pretty new. That uh, looks looks nice. Anyway, <laughs> I'm excited. A nice fiction book and a nice nonfiction book. So let's do this. We're trying to we're trying to destroy the Rachni after, well, per their mother's orders, <laughs> which is like really sad. <laughs> Tatsko Tatsovetsky, yo, what up, guy? Just sitting at a chair in the middle of the place. 
Are you here to secure the situation? How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? You let these things out? Uh, I am only following the orders. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. This was Ragnarok. Yeah, I know. Inside they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. A thousand-year-old egg hatched? Yes. Very tough to be so long frozen that it survived the centuries. This is miracle. They are a pretty hardy species. Binary Helix plan to clone Rachni, mass produce them. That's an always been an excellent plan. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Hold on. Don't you need a male to get eggs? Not queens are born not all carrying of them. the genetic code of their fathers. Eggs are carried away from the colony to hatch alone. Queens can lay eggs in hours and have a colony in days. This is how they spread so quickly. He sounds injured, but he doesn't look injured. I don't know if he is. Separating them from their mother didn't work. Uh, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Then all we need to do is bring her here. No, I am yeah. sorry, but this will not work. It's just a double, double making sure. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but they must a, be used. A sad this. thing, you say. I am thinking that the neutron purge must be set After off. everything that you've done. Also, this is the hot labs. Nobody else was supposed to be alive. How is this man? He's just sitting. He's just chilling here. When, like, realistically, like, there'd be blood and body parts everywhere. And somehow, he's... He, how is this man alive? I've never thought about this. How is this man alive? <laughs> I don't think I've ever thought about this. If I have, I've forgotten. But, I mean... Han Olar was only alive because he was already upstairs, you know, and like, and he was close to the tram. Like, everybody in the actual hot lab died, and this man's just sitting here in a, amongst a pile of theoretical bodies, and he's like, oh, let me get my Russian accent out and <laughs> tell you some stuff. I'm not familiar with the purge system. It creates bursts of neutron radiation, kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. Uh, wait. Everything within the station? But there are, like, that's not how it, that is, I think that's been worded incorrectly. Once the purge is armed, we'll have to fight our way out. Give us a minute to patch up and rearm. Sure, sure. I wait here. I am not so much good for searching now, yes? <laughs> uh, I can't. Mother always say I. Yeah, well, uh, sorry to break it to you, bud, but it, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna be pretty. Uh, that's for sure. More alien, uh, kind of thing. Let me, let me tell you, let me just tell you that. I'm stuck! No. Okay. I'm not used to seeing all that out there. It's a bit like the, the tubes they were keeping them in. Uh, anyway. Uh, oh, we can level up. Heck, well, let's um, put some into specter training. Get me a little beefier. Yeah, chuck them. Yeet those enemies. Yeah, hacking the crypt. Damping's the biotic one, right? Oh, yes. The upgrade only increases the radius of sabotage overload. Oh, and damping. Total. Okay, cool. Uh, sure. Oh, frick. We need to give her armor. I, no, undo that. Give her armor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish you could tell them to use passives, like... Well, to be fair, Rex... They do use... As far as I know, Rex, like, will use his immunity and stuff when he needs to. I wonder if they use their shield ones. Because I have it set to where I'm the one who can tell them only to use their abilities. But it seems like they can use their passives sometimes. Katana! Katana! Well, 
Or man, I do, I do love a Russian accent. I am feeling not so well. How do we set off the purge? Armin controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then uh, I will get near that and start. Yeah, not a good end, bud. But perhaps, perhaps fair. After what he was uh, a part of. They are just indestructible. I I am sorry, my dude. That was not a good way to go, and your chest looks very bursted. You know, I think that's like the most attention to detail they give a body. Because you don't generally find them with their chest burst and even a blood pool under them. Oh, hey, Mira. Connecting. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. How many Rachni are in here? I'm sorry. The sensor oh, network is too snuck... damaged to provide an accurate Oh, I snuck past because I thought she was going to say, like, I can't tell you anything about the high-level classification, blah, 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 blah. What's the status of the facility? Containment breach and laboratory pod gamma. The neutron purge system is functional, but has not been armed. Activate the neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. This is actually really funny. I'm just gonna do it. Uh, six Emperor Tyran Zone Three. That is the correct code. Please report to security for arrest and interrogation. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Activate the neutron purge. Activate gamma. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Gamma. Code input 875 Code Omega local execution. Verify. Code Omega execution in 120 seconds. Run! Okay. Let's. Not that, buddy. No. Come, please. Someone give me a hand. Yeah, I. I was trying to get it up, but it wouldn't let me. Okay. Please, come on. Yeah. No, we just we run. Oh no! You can you can do it. You can run through here because I think killing them all takes freaking forever. Maybe we'll try killing them. We do need the XP, but I will put on barrier and then we will use singularity oh come on because ah! there's not actually that many that they have oh my gosh did that work okay I'm gonna pull up the sniper rifle, is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cheat. Give me the sniper rifle. Oh my gosh. That is...
So technically they're all down there. Oh my gosh, we have 10 seconds. <laughs> oh no, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh jeez, I was paying attention and then I stopped paying attention. And now I'm paying attention again. Huh, <sighs> okay. Anyway, ooh, that was, uh, that was dramatic. We got out with five seconds to spare. Hey, everyone. Oh, okay, that's right. Everybody's out here now. Because somehow they know, or they're not. Are they back at the facility? Where is everyone? I didn't, like, actually kill them, did I? Because that's not how it usually works. You don't really have any option. You have to complete the... You have to do the Neutron Purge to get back out. Because there's still the contamination. Like, the, the biological hazard contamination thing. Protocols. Well, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> At least it's never happened before that I've, like, mass murdered everybody. Uh, I think I can talk to them when I'm back. I, I thought you could talk to Han Olar out here. What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? Did the commander resign when I wasn't Every looking? Everybody, chill out. We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. She's also not used to military structure, like command structure, you know? Look, this is a tough mission. We're all on edge. Everyone go get some rest. Crew dismissed. Novaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. Is this report accurate, Commander? <laughs> you found no, I'm lying area? to you. And then release the queen. Oh. Do you have any idea what you've done? How many generations until they overrun the galaxy? Not my problem. This queen is different. She understands why her kind had to be wiped out last time around. I hope you're right, Shepard. Our children's children will pay the price if you're not. We'll be waiting for your next report, Commander. I can't believe they don't, like, just toss me out of the Spectres just for that, but... I am a specter, so I get to do what I want. Look at that. Look at how high up I am. Well. <laughs> uh, the insane Rachni are all dead. Yeah, it's only the Rachni. At least that's that's the way it's been forever. Look at all these quests in Novaria. I mean, Pharos is the same, but... Anyway, the the re, we can't go to the moon relay or whatever is because we have to go to Vermeer first. Um. Anyway, uh, now is the time to end the video. I'm I'm hoping that I got this right anyway. <laughs> um, when smushing two things together, but it's the time of the video to thank my patrons. So once again, I want to thank Reese. I almost combined like your guys' names, Reese Galito. Thank you so much for your patron. Uh, patronage, I guess, um, for being a sapling tier patron. I really appreciate it. Like, truly, I, I do. <laughs> and then also Scalamungar, thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. And uh, I guess, again, for being my first patron. You will always have that distinction, and I super duper appreciate it. <laughs> um, and then an extra special shout out to Christopher, who is a tree tier patron and who has been incredibly kind uh, ever since they started talking on the channel. And I just really pre appreciate their support uh, and everything that they, in every way they choose to support me. So thank you so much um, for that. Anyway, <laughs> um, thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one.